you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Jesus, 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 More and more, I tune into this. I realize more and more that each and every one of us are responsible to take the word of God that has been spoken and grow our lives. If we don't grow our own lives, we could be in church from now on and remain the same. You have to take responsibility and accountability of your life and refuse to be stagnated. Amen. The Bible tells us, Hebrew 4 and 2, that we all receive the same word that some did not profit, some didn't grow, some didn't advance, because they did not mix faith with the word that they received. When I look and I see that somebody else's life is coming up with the same word, and I put myself there and say, you know what, if they can grow, I can too. Let somebody know. No excuses. You rid yourself of excuitis. You rid yourself of excuitis. Because God is dependent upon me as I'm dependent upon Him. 1 Corinthians 6 17. Says he that is joined to God become one spirit in him. Yes. So if I'm one spirit in him, there is no reason I should be up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Those things come when I don't take on responsibility of growing myself. I'm always dependent upon someone else to do it for me. I always say, you give a man a fish, what do you do? You feed him for a day. You feed him for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, what do you do? You feed him for a lifetime. Why is that? Because he will always know what to do. He will always, you put him out there somewhere where nobody else is there but him. He will know what to do. Are y'all still here? Yes. So it's very important that we focus upon our lives. You get in the mirror every day if you adjust yourself. And when you walk out of that mirror, you walk away from that mirror, you, you can't forget who you are. Whatever you declared over yourself, you got to carry that with you throughout the day. And you, when, you, when you clean yourself up in the morning and you leave out, I see some people, they, they be in the mirror on their way to the destination. And I see some, when they get to the destination, they go in the mirror again and make sure that the image is still up. And this is the way it is with our lives. If you declare yourself blessed in the morning, you got to declare yourself blessed when you leave out the door. You got to declare yourself blessed when you get in the car. You got to declare yourself blessed when you get on the job. Yes, yes. Declare yourself blessed when you come back in the house. Yes, yes. Every step you take, 
you're declaring continuously. You don't allow someone that cut you off in traffic to call you to change what you said before you left the house. Or you're going to stay here. So what are you saying? I got to take and put myself in the mirror and declare my life as God has said no matter what takes place. You don't change because of situations. You don't change because the enemy throws something your way. You, you, you always know who you are. God said you imitate me. Ephesians 5 and 1. You copy me in Amplified Version. You copy me in everything you do. So when you copy God, have you ever seen God defeated? You ever seen Jesus defeated? No. no matter what he's confronted with, he always come out on top. I go further. Have you ever seen the Hebrew boys defeated? No. Paul, Peter, the apostles? No. Only time that anything would come to a defeat upon anyone is when they forget the image of who they are. And what has happened uh, with a lot of people in this day and age, especially in the church, People got to the point they don't really know. They don't forgot who they were. They walked away from the mirror and they allowed situations and circumstances to become their portion. And they forget who God said they are. God said, I created you in my own image. I created you in my own image. I gave you my image. So when you stand in the mirror, you see the God image. Created like himself. Oh, who greater to be like than God? Oh, y'all got to come on here. But, but, but the only way this works is from the spirit. Because God is a spirit. And the real you is a spirit. You don't take your life from your physical nature and declare that that's who you are. And people take on other people's words and they say what other people say. They, and they don't even have a clue for their own selves who they really are. A lot of people uh, have left this earth not knowing technically who they were. They heard what somebody else said. A lot of people died sad, mad, depressed. Glory to God, full of distress and, and, and corruption because they took on somebody else's image. And they find out later on in the presence of God, they will find out that wasn't you at all. But that was an image that you took on and said that was you. The church gave you an image. Your home gave you an image. The streets gave you an image. The school gave you an image. People you hang around gave you an image. But if you don't stop and find out for yourself, who am I really? You'll be trying to follow everybody's image, never knowing who you really were. As always, say you can die a cheap copy, never even knowing that you were a great original. I wish you look at somebody tell them, I'm a great original. I'm not going to be a copy to nobody. I'm getting a mirror and I'm knowing who I am. Glory to God. God put people in my life that will tell me who I really am. And then give me the motivation, glory to God, to get somewhere and practice that image. Get somewhere and exercise that image. Glory to God, no longer utilizing excuses. Uh, utilize, well, this is what they said. I don't care what they say. What are you saying? Come on now. At the end of the day, glory to God, your life, glory to God, will be predicated by what has come out of your mouth. Uh, the Bible says that you are snared by the words of your own mouth. Uh, we will blame somebody else because we won't take on our own selves and say, you know what, I forgive them. Glory to God, they don't understand or they don't know. Hallelujah, and then declare over myself, I know who I am. Oh, I'm glad that somebody grabbed that. I know who I am. I don't take on what everybody else has said. They gave me all types of images. They told me everything, told me I was nothing. Glory to God, never be nothing. You done heard all kinds of stuff. Hallelujah, you'll never get anywhere. You done heard all kinds of stuff. Well, if you're going to come beyond that, then you're going to have to speak it over yourself. Look at your head and tell them to stop depending on everybody else. Sit in the gym and exercise yourself. 
Everybody can be in the gym, losing the weight, getting healthy, getting in shape, and you can still be walking out of shape. Yeah, right. you, you'll talk about health. You, you'll go through all the motions of it, but you're not doing the work that everybody else is doing. To get, oh, y'all not here. Y'all are not. Oh, let the neighbor come stay here. Don't get lost. Don't get lost. Yeah, don't get lost. Yes, yes, every man, every man, if you're going to get healthy, get in shape, you're going to have to get in the gym for yourself. Nobody can get in the gym and lift it for you. Nobody can get on the stairmaster for you. Nobody can get on the treadmill for you. Glory to God. Yeah, you get on that stairmaster. You get on that treadmill and get these weight, these uh, these pounds off of me. They'll be losing it, but you'll still. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose nobody. I'm ready to God to look at somebody and tell them everything that you face. You can rise above it. Yes, sir. 
servant, but he turned around, told the servant, said, look, there be more with us than with them, because you can't see them don't mean they're not there. You don't see that magnet attracted with all that energy, pulling everything to it, but glory to God, that magnet is snatching everything right to it, because there's a lot of energy coming out of that magnet. Y'all better come on here. There's a lot of energy out here right now to bring you up or pull you down. Every time you better get on with it. You better rise up out of that thing and shake it off. No more excuses. God said you can rise up out of it. You get somebody tell you can rise out of it. Hallelujah. Get back in the exercise room. Hallelujah. Get your spiritual exercise working and tell yourself you can arise above this. Paul stood up and said, I can do all things. There's nothing that you can't do because God said, I created you. I equipped you. And I have empowered you. Get up and arise. Stop waiting on something that's waiting on you. Yeah, I'm 
like interaction. You just gotta make it talk. Yeah. A lot of people won't talk, but they're scared. Then they look at people next to them and tell them, I wonder if they're gonna say something. I don't care whether you say it or not. I believe the word of the prophet and I'm gonna speak it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't know what I've been going through. And yeah, you ain't gonna be around. Glory to God. I instead of here looking at them predicating off of you, you may not be there. Glory to God, I'm the one facing that battle. I'm gonna get up in here and receive the word of the prophet so I can get up. And I'm going to get somebody else up. Yeah, right, right. Everybody can't sit around looking uh, all up in the sky somewhere like they lost and talking about how holy they are. No, you're in a world that honey, you better prove it. That's right. And if you ain't proved, Jesus said, you don't believe me, believe me for my works. Yeah, yeah. If you don't see no miracle, don't believe nothing I'm saying. Yeah. He ain't going to sit and talk about I'm selling Jesus. You can't sell Jesus to nobody. Get up here talking about selling Jesus and selling. Was he being prostituted now or something? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand that other people come say the same stuff they hear other people say. Instead of sitting down, taking an inventory, and find out what this really means. Yeah. Roman, uh, what is it? Roman 13, 14, 14, 13, flip around one of them two ways. He says, put ye on. I put these clothes on. Adam, who told you were naked? You were naked. So you didn't have a clue about none of that. To deception came. When people are deceived, they forget who they really are. Now you got consciousness of something that wasn't you at all. Come on now. You, you better get that. You know everybody else getting it. You know everybody else. You know everybody else. That, that, I don't care how many it is. I go back to my belief. My belief says a thousand fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not. I don't care what you say. I go by what I. that 
you know. You don't have to cling to this. And then the man in Bruce Almighty told him, he said, listen, don't, don't tell nobody that you're God. Just, just go ahead on because he said, believe me, you don't want that type of attention. Mm -hmm. See, that's what Jesus was doing. Y'all better come on. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he didn't have to cling to that. He don't want that kind of attention. Mm -hmm. He come to walk this earth as your example. To show you, this is you. And then when he finished, got everything back, he said, it is finished. He gave up the go. Send back the conqueror. The conqueror abides in you forever. So the same work that you saw him do, you shall also do. Peter and them, did, if they hadn't seen Jesus raise the dead, they wouldn't have been able to do it. But they took on the nature. When the people saw them walking in the boldness of Jesus, they didn't even have knowledge of scripture. Hadn't been to their schools. But they carried a boldness that only Jesus carried. So they knew and perceived that these were men that had been with Jesus. People know. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. This is too deep. It's too deep. People know who you've been hanging with. Stay 
spiritually conscious. Yes. Y'all didn't hear me. Yes. Stay spiritually yes. conscious. Yes. The Bible said that you are not to be blinded by any of the enemy's tactics. Yes. Come on now. You're supposed to know it a mile off. Yes. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Come, come, come on. You're on the right street. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going to walk over, but you're going to limp. I know yes. that one. Come on now. I know that one. Come on, Bishop. God equipped you. That police get out there. I don't care how much traffic. When he throw that hand up, all that traffic, no, it better stop. Come on now. Yes, sir. What are they acknowledging? Authority. Y'all in love work. Yes, I did. Come on back here and listen. This is for you. Back when you just blast those things. I'm going to let y'all go. Actually, now you've been blessed. This is for years. Years back, I was downtown electric company. I'm sure I'm just, I got to use this. I got to use this. He got pulled up. Watch this. He's in a plain clothes. And he, he trying to tell me to move my car. He, move, move that car. And I'm looking at him like, what? Move that car. What? Now at this point, I'm thinking, you know, that right there. Don't try to figure that out. Just go with it. But then he turned around, rest in his pocket, and pulled that out. I said, no problem, sir. Y'all understand yeah. the enemy yeah. know when you know. Yes, you do. Oh, yes. oh my Jesus. God, Jesus! And you want to try me? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> let me let me show you. Come on now, come on now, come on now, Lord Jesus. Oh, no problem, no problem, sir. No, no problem, ma'am. I'm out of here. See, that's you. In the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Don't let the enemy back you down. You told him to get out, get out now. I, I said, get out, get out. Okay, now you gotta prove to him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all remember your kids? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said it nice the first couple of times, and they thought you were playing. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, the shoe came their way. <laughs> Or that voice cranked up. Uh -huh. You knew then. That's the way it is in the spirit. Yeah. Don't don't tee the title with him. No. And he's sitting around making you miserable. Right. And he's laughing at you. <laughs> I got it. Oh my God. Jesus. He loves to see saints miserable. Jesus. He loves to see you unhappy. Mm -hmm. See, you stress out that's the beginning right there. You're on your way out. You're taking yourself right on out right there. He ain't coming up out of the ground with no pitchfork. Mm -hmm. No big old horns on his head. Yeah. No big red cape. You forget that image. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Oh, y'all still here? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay spiritually conscious, yes. and the enemy cannot deceive you. Yeah. He can't do nothing with you. He, he, he know he, hey, either I'm gonna beat him or I'm gonna join him and just get away from him. Yeah. But you gotta have an unstoppable attitude. That's right. Face everything and rise. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's in my face is plain thing. Face everything yeah. and rise. Yeah. Face everything and rise. Stay spiritually conscious. Watch this. Who both began and finished this race that we're in. Study how he did it. See, spiritual conscious. God will show you everything. Mm -hmm. Study how he did it. Mm -hmm. Because watch this, he never lost sight of where he was headed. He refused to be distracted. You out there on that highway, you ain't heard the GPS, you ain't heard nobody else telling you that's your exit. You five miles out the way. You're supposed to get on five miles back. <laughs> he never lost sight of where he 
he was headed. Look at your neighbor tell them you can't lose sight where you're going. They're not going in your direction, honey. Be willing and bold enough to just walk off and do what you got to do for you. Refuse to fall back into some misery that you can fall so hard to get out of. You're supposed to be singing old happy day. Are y'all hearing this? God said, I'll keep you. That's what they told you. But when I go in my Bible, come on, no. and he told me if I'm spiritually conscious, I'll be in perfect peace. Perfect peace. You can flip over, flip out, flip under, flip over, do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You'll still be all right. I'm you just watch them. Be like, well, when you get tired, you know. Be like, less than something wrong. When you get through, put everything back on your way out there. <laughs> and he went back up and got back in the bed. On one with trouble. What is what? But anyway, that's his story. Hey man, I'm telling you what he said. Are oh, y'all understand this? Yeah. That's a good example. Because you got some scared folk around you. If you ain't careful, you're gonna be scared. Amen. Man, we can't, we can't, what are we gonna do? That's Elijah and his servant. We can't do nothing with them. Look at all of them. They gonna they gonna whoop us. It's only one or two. <laughs> but see, because he Elijah knew who he was, <laughs> he put his hands up on him, his servant's eyes, and God opened his eyes that he could see. Jesus. Elijah took that whole army that was supposed to spend defeating them and led every last one of them, made them come by. Said the people that y'all look for, they over here. And told God to blind all of them. Y'all didn't catch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same demon's supposed to be taking you out now. You, you running him. Ah, come on now. The wealth of the wicked. Somebody say, Trying to take everything from you in here, you taking it. Somebody declare, I know who I am. I know who I am. Slap somebody around and tell them, arise. 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 You can do this. You got this. You got this. Can we go a little further? Yes, sir. Watch this. Study how he did because he never lost sight of where he was headed. That, that exhilarating finish in and with. Watch this. He could put up with anything along the way. See there? Nothing could distract him. Watch this. Cross. The shame. Whatever. Watch this. And now, watch this. He's there. He's at the destination. In the place of honor. Right alongside God. Ephesians 2 and 6 picks that up. And then Ephesians 2, when you finish the scripture, Ephesians 2 and 6, what, did it, what does it tell you where you are? No, I'm a Paul for the call because there's too many people here for only one person to know. Pull the scripture up. Ephesians 2 and 6, I gotta, I gotta echo this. Pull it up, read it. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ. Come on. And seated us with him in the heavenly realm. So, so he seated there. And where are you? Right Y'all still scared. So y'all might have to exercise this. So y'all still hearing red in y'all ear. Red told y'all something else. Y'all might have to let go of red. That, that, that's what it be. But anyway. <laughs> When you <laughs> praise Jesus, oh, this is so awesome. When you find yourself flagging okay. in your faith, uh -huh. look what he said. Go over that story a 
are dead. Watch this. Item by item. That long litany of hostility he plowed through. Yeah, you can stand people lying on you. You can stand people talking about you. You can stand people mocking you. You can stand people hating you. Because as he came through it, guess what? You will also. He plowed the box.
I fired it. Amen. But when, when reality hit, I realized he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. He knew I could do it. And God know you can handle everything that you are confronted with. He know that. That's why he puts you in the position. He expects you to finish strong. He don't doubt you. Yes. 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 She has. Yes. She does. Oh my God. My Lord. Praise you. Thank you, God. Don't give the enemy no more permission. That's right. I'm equipped to handle this. Yes. Now get your spirit there. Timothy, stir up. You can't let your spirits just stay dormant all the time. You got to stir that Kool Aid if you want it to be sweet. All the sugar's in the box. Yeah. Stir on that Kool-Aid. Yeah. God gave you a sweet life. Get up and enjoy. Stir that Kool-Aid. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't spoon do like my God one day. She put her whole arm All down. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can use no spoon. You're like, I don't need no spoon. Right. <laughs> put her whole arm in it. Use what you got. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. Get up. Yeah. Stop crying to me. Mm. Everything you need, you have. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Oh my God, this little stuff. This can't do that. Raise it up. Let me show you what it can do. Yeah. It look like nothing to you, but it's everything with God. Yeah. He'll never put you before anything that he has not equipped you to come through. You think you need a whole bunch of something else. Everything you need is already in you. Praise the Lord. I said I was quick. That's what she Amen. Your life is predicated on you. God's depending on you. They're cheering you on. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Nobody won't help me. No. Oh, wrong answer. No, that's right. Wrong answer. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Wrong answer. Yeah. You got that. Uh -uh. There is more for you. Get yourself in the faith. And stay in the faith. Yeah. Refuse to be shaken. Praise the Lord. Amen. Get in that mirror every day. Like you do fixing your hair, your eyebrows, and eyelashes. <laughs> Some people stay in the bathroom for hours. <laughs> you gotta get it just right. Stay in there and get your life just right. So you come out a champion. Yeah. Come out more than a conqueror. Yeah, yeah. Come out victorious. Yeah, right. Refuse to be defeated. Yeah, right. You'll never be defeated another day in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One man trashes another man's treasure. Come on. Don't count yourself out. I don't care how old it is. In God's eyes, honey, you're a treasure. Yeah, right. You are the apple of his eye. Yeah, you right. are somebody. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I don't care if everybody kicked you to the curb. He didn't. Right. He's still saying you can ride. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to hook you up so much, they're going to all get jealous. They're going to hit their ammo. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to stay focused. Yeah. Yeah. And stay focused on the misery. Hmm. Trying to get people to like you. You got to do all that, honey. Look. You don't need them. I gotta sit around and make you like me and do a bunch of stuff. I mean, I was in the street. I was a good friend to all of the long dog buying stuff. When the stuff ran out, guess what? They did too. They look with me every day. How much we got? How much we got? And I was a friend. 
got enough for a 40. Got nine nine six. See, all you need was 50 cents to get a pint of wild eyed throw. That's an MP. <laughs>
got to know your enemies. And you got to start right there and challenge yourself to grow. The Bible said, I gave you power. I gave you love. And watch this. I gave you self-control. Yes, Lord. I gave you a sound mind. Now, if you gave me all of this, then what am I praying for? I just have the tools to fix this car. You got all the tools up in that truck. You ain't trying to fix that car. You were waiting on somebody. I said, I gave you every tool to get that thing fixed. Praise the Lord. And then I gave you a warranty. I gave you roadside assistance. You still rolling around here. Don't know where you at. I wish somebody had to pick up the phone called roadside. Y'all ain't catching Amen. Amen. Try to go flat. What did I do? Pick up the phone. I'm not touching it. <laughs> and I didn't touch it. No. Why? Well, you know that you know, honey. That's why you got all of that. And that's your life. I equip you with all that. And you run around going crazy. Amen. Are y'all blessed tonight? Yeah. Yes. 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 Get your best.